Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Death Wish starring Bruce Willis or the ghost of Bruce Willis, depending on how you want to look at it. All right, so before I go ahead with the review, if you guys wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, tell me your thoughts if you've seen the movie. Um, and of course, I'd always love to hear feedback on what you guys have to say, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so let's get into this thing. Um, to start off, my brother-in-law has been so excited about this movie for the last six months. Um, I've never seen the original. I've heard seeing the original would maybe make this movie a little bit better, but I don't believe in that. If you're gonna do a remake, then you should do a remake for 2018 because that was the point, right? For people like me who aren't old enough to see the original, um, or not that I'm not old enough, but it wasn't something relevant to me when I was younger and I just haven't had a chance to go see it yet. Um, and so it's been like a constant debate whether this film's gonna be good or not. And judging by the preview and judging by Bruce Willis's work in the last decade, to me it looked like garbage, but to him it looked good. And he ended up liking it. And you know what guys, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it was the worst movie I've ever seen because that would be dishonest, but overall it's not very good. The story is about a doctor who, um, he has a great family. His brother is kind of like, you know, in and out of trouble, but he's a good dude, played by Vincent D'Onofrio, and Elizabeth Shue is his wife, and he's got a gorgeous daughter. They have a great, perfect, happy family life. And someone barges in to his house while he's at work because he's a doctor, and basically kills his wife, shoots her, and then shoots his daughter. And this is another thing, I, there's so many plot holes in this movie that I, I couldn't understand. So basically, it's like, three on two when it comes to the robbers and you have like a point blank shot and you shoot the daughter, but you don't shoot her to death. Like these robbers aren't very good. <laughs> they suck. And I had a hard time with that because I couldn't, what was odd is you couldn't tell where she was shot because she had like a head wrap. But so I was like, was she shot in the head? Was she shot in the body? Like I really couldn't, I think that's what the plot hole was for me is they had like a head wrap, like she was shot in the head, but then she didn't have any stitches. Guys, I don't know. I mean, this is, that's so minute and we haven't even gotten to the thicker, the thick of it that I can tell you that this movie is, is just not good. So Eli Roth is the director and I was wondering, I didn't know that before the movie started and I was wondering, I was like, why does this movie, why is this movie being shot like a horror film? Like he enters the room like Freddy Krueger would, or like like the big monster would in a horror film. You know, every time he walks, when he's has the hood on, you know, it's got the music and it's like it's supposed to be spooky. And I guess that's the point is that he's the boogeyman. Ugh, it's just so cheesy, guys. It's 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 not good. Let's go into what I did like. And what I did like is that I was entertained. It's kind of like when you watch a Lifetime movie. Everything is lit, incredibly bright and the actors are okay, they're not bad actors, but then you're entertained. But overall, is this worth like paying for? No way, this movie is bad, it's like not good. One of the most frustrating things is I can't understand what happened to Bruce Willis. Like Bruce Willis, what are you doing? It's like you, you just want, I don't know if he just wants like a paycheck or if he thinks he's doing a good job. And and that's what's hard for me is, is his character how all of a sudden do you become like this murderous guy? I, I don't know, maybe it would have been better if it wasn't Bruce Willis and you didn't have someone who's half checked out, who by the way, would never, not ever, ever, ever pass as a doctor. I'm sorry, it does not work. You cannot cast this dude to play a doctor and have us as an audience believe it. I don't believe it, like I, I don't. And I know this movie is supposed to be fun and Again, I was entertained, but that doesn't mean just, I mean, I can be entertained by Vine videos all day. That doesn't mean that the content is, is good, is worth paying for, you know? So it, cast someone else, like cast someone who's going to make you believe, make me believe Bruce Willis. I miss you. We want to believe in what you are acting in. Um, and it's just difficult, uh, guys. 
this movie was just so and Vincent D'Onofrio Vincent D'Onofrio is such a great actor and for some reason I don't know why he can't get better roles I don't know if he pissed someone off or what the issue is we need to get Vincent and better movies than this because he deserves better you know what I would have believed Vincent as a doctor as big as that man is with nice hands maybe as Bruce Willis's character over Bruce Willis and maybe because he's more imposing like I can see him doing that switch <sighs> and so not only is the violence not appropriate for 2018 um, it's just not directed well you know like if you're gonna do this kind of movie of vigilante justice in Chicago in 2018 you better direct the hell out of it you know the shot you can't make this guy you're shooting him I mean like film shooting you're shooting him like he's this this you know boogeyman like he's this hero they're making it seem like he's batman you know he's the batman of chicago in 2018 you have this white guy in a hoodie and he's gonna be great and he's gonna go in the the black neighborhoods and he's gonna shoot up those gang bangers who are messing with the little kids guys it does not work like, like i'm not super sensitive to that stuff I know what I'm, it's called Death Wish and it's rated R. I think it was rated R. Like I know what I'm getting. I know I'm getting something violent and it's nothing different that I would see on Netflix with Daredevil or any of the other Marvel shows. Like it's violent. I think it's just the way that he approaches vigilante justice. You know, he just walks into the neighborhood and bam, 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 he just shoots someone. It's just the way that it's shot and the way that it looks. And I think it's because you don't believe in his motivation that is what makes it so hard to watch and so hard to swallow. Like this isn't 1985 anymore. You can't have some guy who's like, they killed my wife and my daughter, boom, boom. You know, just go in and just take matters into his own hands. And as an audience in 2018, have us being able to buy it unless it seems like oh well now that i think about it so what's the difference here you know why do why do i watch daredevil and that doesn't bother me or the punisher and that doesn't bother me but watching this like really is is it didn't get under my skin horribly but that i had some older couples who i had two older couples in my theater who walked out like they they couldn't handle it they didn't like it and i think it's because when you watch those shows they're in a fantasy world and when you're in a fantasy world it doesn't hit you as hard as being in chicago where these things are actually happening and really around our country where we have lots of shootings and um as an audience you can take it and it doesn't hurt as much to watch and it was just it was just painful to watch bruce willis try to convey to us as an audience and have us believe that this dude would just all of a sudden give up his practice he had scars on his hand which means it's possible that he could like ruin his career and go above and beyond and do all these things make it believable like i didn't i didn't care about his cause and in in order for a vigilante to work for an audience for a movie for a show you have to make what they're fighting for believable. God, this movie is bad. It's bad. Just don't go pay for it. Watch it on Netflix. Catch it for free. Get it at your bootleg guy on the corner. But do not go and pay for this movie because it's not very good. Okay. Opinion done. Thank you. Um, if you guys would please, again, like or subscribe. Um, I love doing movie reviews and I'd love to continue to do my content, but I'd like to hear feedback from you all. So thanks again and um, I'll catch you on my next movie review. Bye.